This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com skinner. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. All right, so this is going to be pretty interesting. Uh, I am meeting Mike Epstein, and he is on a Sea Dew Fish Pro. And uh, wow, this thing looks like a little fishing machine. And I got to tell you, the first thing that's striking me is how quiet it is. How you doing? Pretty good. Yeah, right. you got us all set up over here, huh? Yeah. Well, uh, couple of months in the planning you know we finally got a date yeah. we got a window we got uh, some weather we have oh uh, look at the, you got the you got the, you got the fish finder yeah, plotter yeah uh, the only thing you don't have are my fish marks on there how am i going to know where to go <laughs> well do me yeah. a favor do me a favor oh, save, oh oh yeah you would like my spots save them for me later yeah <laughs> yeah okay well so yeah this is uh this is actually a 2019 cedo cedo fish pro uh, out of the box, just like this, except except your rods. But what you see is what you get here. Um, fish finder, Garmin GPS fish finder. You've got room for three. This actually, you can remove this seat if you want to, make a little casting platform. Comes with this high performance cooler. To keep your fish cold, keep your bait cold. I don't know if you can see this, it's got, um, yeah. it's got a tape measure right here, which is really handy. You can cut bait here. You so that, that comes with the unit? Just the, like, wow. as you see. Everything here. As wow. you see. Well, that's smart. Um, I think um, it's got these rod holders. You can actually adjust these if you want to troll. Put these in the outbound position. So are my rod's going to blow out? No. Oh, no, look no, at that. No. That's smart. No, those are fine. Those are fine. Well, I can get it out if I want to, but otherwise it blocks in. Yeah. They really they really thought of everything for the fishermen. Yeah. Um, You've got 18 gallons of fuel. Are we marking any fish? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> a lot of bait here. Uh, 18 gallons of fuel, about 80, 100 miles of range. This has a 155 horsepower engine. The whoa, 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 wait a minute. 155 horse on this thing? Right, right. 155. And that's a, that's, that's kind of scary. That's a little one. <laughs> the, wow. The 2020s come with 170. But uh, you'll do 50 all day in this. So the, the reason well, why no, they put no, this no, one. you you'll do 50. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Ready to give it a shot? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right, okay. let's go. Okay. Hop aboard. All right, so these it. are. Uh, I got to get on. Huh? Yeah, super stable platform. You're not going to oh. tilt that over. Oh, that wasn't so bad. And what's nice, as you can see, you got room for two. Oh, there's a lot of room here. Pretty large wow. adult men. Oh, if you don't mind, I gotta try doing this a little bit. Go ahead. No, 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 this that's that's uh, rock solid, stable. Very stable. And what's really I what's really nice is you've got the um, you've got a trolling mode if you want. So I just hit this button right here. Now yeah. I'm, I'm hands free. I don't have to hold the throttle. So this is super convenient when you're But is that so is that like an autopilot? It's not an autopilot where all right, you know, well, of course, direct, correct. But the speed? But it's, it's, think of it as, as speed control or cruise control. Cruise control, so, okay. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm in the harbor. I got a long run out yeah. through my channel. All right, you have to be messing around. No, I'm not, yeah. you know, I'm not holding on the whole time with my right hand. We should head over in that direction. We'll go into Orient Harbor. Okay. Is this all no wake or? No, no you're good. Okay, so you can hold on. I am. Right <laughs> you don't have to hold on to me. Uh, I'm gonna hit you if I think you're going too fast. <laughs> okay. That's 15 miles an hour. Kill switch. Okay. Which you yeah. Right here. Very important. Okay. But you're, you are not going to fall off. And, no, it doesn't seem that way. And if, if you shut the engine off while you're drifting, eventually it'll it'll turn down the GPS. You know, just like a power save.
but you really you don't have to worry about any of these levers any of these it's, it, there's some settings for temperature control that's the water all right. temperature all right so obviously steering yep this is nothing and nope. that's stationary and this yeah. is throttle this is throttle. and this is start yep this is throttle squeeze that yeah if you let go of this and give that a little tap that'll put you in a neutral if you hold that one backwards it's reverse if you hold that okay. one backwards yeah and, and I'm, I'm gonna go out here and do all that little stuff okay and okay. then you just press the press the button hard to turn it on press the button hard to turn it off okay all right, all right here we go push the button hard all right and I'm in neutral all right now I'm gonna ooh all I do here is just pull I ooh I like that it's cool ooh uh -huh. All right, now I told him I was going to do baby steps. Huh. All right, so my next thing is I'm going to try and go into... I'm going to try and go into uh, neutral here. Because right now I'm in, I'm in here, okay. Now apparently I take my hand off and I go once. And that's it, I'm in neutral. If I want to go in reverse, I go like this. And there we are. There is reverse. Okay. And what if I do it one more time? Obviously, that is forward. And you steer. Wow. This is really stupidly simple. Okay. So I can do this now, right? I can open this, right? With it running. So yeah, check out the storage in this thing. It's loaded. Um, yeah, my cell phone's down in my bag, which is all the way in the bottom. But look at this. You know, there's a backpack, my camera bag, and then there's my uh, usual tackle bag, which is pretty large and uh, tons of room in there. Dry storage. So that's uh, yeah, that's really nice. So one thing I want to mention about this is the throttle. What's really nice is you take your hand off, you know, it just goes at some slow idle speed. And then like when you touch it like this, you know, it's variable. So it's not like the throttle on a boat where you push it down and it's at some set speed, which is nice because when you want to slow down, you just relax your grip. So I don't know, it's just kind of, obviously I'm kind of scared of this thing, right? You know, I don't, I'm not used to, my boat goes like 22 miles an hour, you know, I'm not used to going. 40 or 50 so I kind of and I'm not used to anything like this I like the idea of the variable speed here all right let me see if I can hit 50 and then I'm gonna go fishing all right I almost hit 50 before my rods are still there all right I have to do it one-handed because I don't want to lose my camera
Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go fishing. Gotta get some gulp juice on this baby. All right, so the fishing is very slow in this area at this time of year. Um, my only chance of really catching anything, there should be some small weak fish around, uh, porgies, um, you know, nothing really beyond that. But uh, that's not the point of this trip. Uh, I just want to check out what this unit is like and uh, what it's like to fish on. Okay, the goal is to catch anything. I didn't want to bring any squid out. So, got gulp. Oh, <laughs> that didn't take long to get a hit. Come on, even if my first fish pro fish is a sea robin. Oh, something hit it. Got something there. Okay, my first fish pro fish. Feels like a clam. It is a tiny sea robin. All right, got a big Coast Guard ship coming through. Wow, that's much bigger than anything I've seen coming into the bay before. This is not going to be a sea robin. Maybe a porgy or a weak fish. Seems like a porgy. And it is. Alright, so. And my battery died right there, but okay, that's the fish I had on. Ah, uh, okay, that's a, a decent size small weak fish. That's yeah, just about what's around. Um, did you see anything on the radar? Oh, okay, I'm coming. He says weather's coming. Oh, he just wants me to get off the water. I just want to stay on the water. Big 
Well, if you didn't make up that story about the storm coming, I'd still be out there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, you get very comfortable, very quick. All right. Very comfortable, very quick. Absolutely. Nice. All right, we're good. You ready? You, you let me know. You ready? Yeah. All right. How's that, man? I told you like it. <laughs> That's cool, yeah. Looking at me, it was bl I, I blackfished on it in October. I actually blocked the blackfish on it in April off a wall off of uh, Milford, Connecticut. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah. yeah, that works. Right, that's it, you know. Just yeah. Little... So there's, there's no tie downs or anything, huh? On the back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, there. Did that when you were getting your gear. All right. Oh, yeah. So there's two, you know, there's a tie down here and a tie down here. And then this, this is actually um, for rinsing it out because we're in salt water. Uh -huh. I'll rinse it out. And then there's two drains on either side. But water's never come out. Like I'll, yeah. I'll open them up when I get yeah. home. Cool. Yeah, you know, I don't. And at one time I forgot to put one of the the plugs in. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, ah. Oh, <laughs> you know, I, I ran back to the ramp and I pulled the boat out. And, or the boat. I pulled the, the fish pro out and nothing came out. Cool. All right. I started off scared of this thing, and then within a few minutes of having it to myself, I was doing this. So, yeah, definitely easy to learn. A lot of fun. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe.